Check out China's latest combat aircraft. The China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation has debuted a next-generation stealth combat aircraft called CH-7. According to the Global Times, the unmanned aircraft has a wingspan of 22 meters, a length of 10 meters, and a cruise altitude of 10 to 13 kilometers. It also has the ability to stay in the air for 15 hours. The CH-7 is capable of launching weapons such as anti-radiation missiles, long-distance precision-guided bombs, and more. It can also intercept radar electronic signals and detect high-value targets. The combat aircraft is currently at the Airshow China 2018 exhibition in Zhuhai from November 6th to 11th. It's scheduled to make its first flight in 2019 and will be available for mass production by 2022 if everything goes according to plan. Stay tuned for more stories related to the military. Take a look at Russia's new Arctic military base. The Russian Defense Ministry has released a virtual tour of the country's new Arctic military base. Russia's new military base has been built on Alexandraland, an island in the Franz Josef Land Archipelago in the Arctic Ocean. The 14,000 square meter base is built on stilts, which are designed to help it withstand extreme cold weather. The base will house 150 personnel on an 18-month period of duty. It is also equipped with a clinic, library, chapel, gym, and cinema. Military experts say the new base will help Russia to control international shipping on the northern sea route and protect the country's oil and gas resources in the Arctic. Russian President Vladimir Putin visited the new base last month. The country is building four more military bases in the Arctic region. Russians get swarmed by armed drones. Russia has identified the source of a drone attack that targeted two military bases in Syria. The drones were launched from a village in southern Idlib province, reportedly by forces aiming to destroy Russian relations with Iran and Turkey. On January 6, the Russian Defense Forces detected 10 drones approaching Kamimim Air Base and another three targeting a naval base in Tartus, Syria. The drones were assembled using a simple engine and cheap materials. Each carried 8 to 10 bombs stuffed with PETN explosives and strings of ball bearings. At least one drone was equipped with a camera and had the ability to adjust the track of the others, which were all guided by GPS and a pre-programmed flight path. Seven drones were shot down by Russian anti-aircraft missiles, while electronic warfare units took control of the rest, three of which exploded upon landing. The Russian bases did not suffer damages or casualties. Beijing ramps up South China Sea militarization. China's Navy has reportedly finished expanding its man-made outpost in the South China Sea and is now building military infrastructure on some of the larger islands. China is outfitting its three largest outposts, Fiery Cross, Subi, and Mischief Reefs in the Spratly Islands, with military infrastructure. This includes airfields with runways at least 8,800 feet long, water and fuel storage, port facilities, 24 fighter-sized hangars, communication facilities, barracks and administration buildings. Once the facilities are complete, China can house up to three regiments of fighter jets in the Spratly Islands. The three air bases and another on Woody Island in the Paracels will give Chinese fighter jets the ability to operate over almost the entire South China Sea. Meanwhile, China has also developed radar surveillance coverage of almost the entire region. The Hague International Tribunal rejected China's claims of historical ownership in the South China Sea last July. China has firmly rejected the ruling. Parts of the South China Sea are claimed by China, Brunei, Taiwan, Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines, and Vietnam. U.S. shows off new military base in South Korea. Looks like someone's got a brand new toy, or state-of-the-art military base, to be more exact. The U.S. has been working on one of its largest military overseas construction projects at Camp Humphreys in South Korea, located about 50 miles south of Seoul. Once the $11 billion expansion is finished, the installation will house a majority of the approximately 30,000 U.S. troops in the country. The 3,454-acre base is the size of a small city. A veterinary clinic, a dental clinic, and a food court opened up in October. The massive complex has new headquarter buildings, an airstrip, firing ranges, barracks, motor pools, and communications facilities. 
In the event of an open war with North Korea, Camp Humphreys would give the U.S. forces the ability for rapid deployment to the front lines. U.S. troops are spread across 174 bases in South Korea. Camp Humphreys will allow the Americans to concentrate their forces. The military plans to cut the number of bases in South Korea down to 96 by 2020. South Korea's 10-person military submersible The South Korean Navy has a submersible that also doubles as a surface vessel. According to Korean naval manufacturer Vogo, the SDV-1000W can be deployed via airdrop from a C-17 or C-130 aircraft. It can carry a crew of 10. On the surface, it can travel at 35 knots or 40 miles per hour via diesel engines and water jet propulsors. While submerged, it can travel at 6 knots or 7 miles per hour using lithium polymer batteries and silent electric motors. Submarine expert H.I. Sutton reports that the vessel functions like a wet sub and that the crew still wear diving gear and receive oxygen from a sizable onboard air system. This lets passengers exit underwater. The vessel can also be landed on a beach.